Which of the following statements is true about the condition fragile X? Is it A, overactivation of fMR1 gene? Is it B, silencing of the fMR gene 5-55 CGG repeats? Or is it C, silencing of the fMR1 gene uh, greater than 200 CGG repeats? Okay, so in fragile X, we know some of the conditions that we're gonna see are gonna be the long phase. We're gonna have the protruding ears, um, gross motor delays, large testes, prominent chin. And so we know that it's X, uh, X-linked dominant. So what am I gonna see with that? Well, I'm gonna have no male to male, obviously. And you're, with the dad's positive, uh, his daughter uh, would be positive as well. So we know that it's a trinucleotide repeat issue, okay? So when the FMR1 uh, gene is epigenetically inactivated, uh, then that allows all these CGG repeats. So it's not overactivation of the fMR1 gene, it's the underactivation. And it's gotta get to what? It's gotta get to at least greater than 200. Answer choice C.